Do you know that there are more dead residing in the catacombs of Paris than the actual living residing in the city of Paris? Fascinating, isn't it? And a bit creepy too. In fact, the catacombs of Paris have always been both fascinating and creepy. There is a lot more to these subterranean dead grounds than we know, and more discoveries make them sound even more disturbing. Welcome to Crunch. Here are 10 eerie discoveries in the catacombs of Paris that will give you nightmares. Poor Philibert Asper. In 1793, a young man named Philibert Aspert became lost in the catacombs while exploring with a friend. His friend eventually found his way out, but Aspert was never seen again. A doorkeeper at the Val de Grasse Hospital in Paris during the French Revolution, his death is still a mystery, and there are many theories about what happened to him. His body was eventually discovered in one of the quarry galleries of the catacombs in 1804. He was lying on his back with his arms folded across his chest. His clothes were neatly folded and his shoes were still on his feet. Surprisingly, there were no signs of violence, and the cause of his death was never determined. Somehow, that fact makes the death even more disturbing. His is still on display in the catacombs today. Writings on the Walls The graffiti in the catacombs of Paris is a fascinating and eclectic mix of messages and images, and more and more paintings are discovered every once in a while. The earliest graffiti in the catacombs dates back to the 18th century, when the tunnels were first used as an ossuary. The graffiti from this period is often simple and crude, but it provides a valuable glimpse into the lives of the people who used the catacombs. Some of the graffiti is simply names and dates, but other graffiti is more disturbing, such as satanic symbols and messages. There is also a lot of political graffiti reflecting the turbulent history of France. In the 19th century, the catacombs became a popular spot for artists and writers. Many of these artists left their mark on the walls, creating some of the most beautiful and haunting graffiti in the catacombs. In the 20th century, the catacombs became a haven for squatters, criminals, and even secret societies. This period saw a decline in the quality of the graffiti, but it also saw the emergence of some truly unique and disturbing images. Today, the graffiti in the catacombs is a mix of old and new. There are still some beautiful and haunting pieces of art, but there is also a lot of graffiti that is simply vandalism. The Secret Passages the catacombs of Paris are a vast network of tunnels and chambers that stretch for over 200 kilometers, 124 miles. Only a small portion of the catacombs are open to the public and the rest are off-limits. These off-limits areas are known as the secret passages. Discovering these secret passages of the catacombs has become a popular destination for urban explorers. These explorers are drawn to the mystery and thrill of the tunnels. However, exploring the secret passages is illegal and can be very dangerous. The secret passages are often narrow and poorly lit. They can be easy to get lost in, and there is always the risk of collapse. There have been several deaths in the secret passages, and the French government has warned people not to explore them. One of the most famous discoveries of a secret passage in the catacombs was made in 2004. A group of police officers were exploring a restricted area of the catacombs when they came across a large and previously uncharted cavern. The cavern was equipped with a bar, a living area, and even a cinema. The police were baffled as to who had built or used the cavern, and they eventually dubbed it the Cinema of the Perforating Mexicans. Another famous discovery of a secret passage in the catacombs was made in 2012. A group of urban explorers were exploring the tunnels when they came across a small hole in the wall. The hole led to a narrow passage that was blocked by a pile of rubble. The explorers cleared the rubble and found themselves in a large underground chamber. The chamber was decorated with graffiti and occult symbols, and it was believed to have been used by a secret society. The Lost Girl Would you consider finding out that something is lost to discovery? For the sake of this video, we are. In 2000, a young girl named Elizabeth Libert was exploring the catacombs with her friends when she became separated from them. She was never seen again. They were in a group of about 10 people and they were all experienced explorers. Libert's friends searched for her for hours, but they could not find her. They called the police and a search was launched. However, Libert was never found. 
The disappearance of Elizabeth Libet is a mystery that has never been solved. There are many theories about what happened to her, but none of them have been confirmed. Some people believe that she fell into a hole or a crevice and was unable to get out. Others believe that she was kidnapped or murdered. Still, others believe that she may have simply wandered off and gotten lost. The truth about what happened to Elizabeth Libet may never be known. However, her disappearance is a reminder of the dangers of exploring the catacombs. The tunnels are vast and complex, and it is easy to get lost. There is also the risk of collapse or other accidents. The Whispering Walls There are some areas in the catacombs where people claimed the discovery of walls talking to them. They have testified hearing strange whispers audible from small crevices in the walls. One theory is that the Whispering Walls are the result of a natural phenomenon. The tunnels of the catacombs are made of limestone, which is a porous rock. This means that sound can travel through the rock and it can be amplified in certain areas. This could create the illusion of voices whispering. Another theory suggests that the whispering walls are the result of supernatural activity. A lot of people believe these whispers to be the voices of the dead. They assert that the spirits of the dead are trapped in the catacombs, and they use the whispering walls to communicate with the living. There have been a few reports of people hearing strange noises in the catacombs, but there is no way to know for sure what is causing these noises. It is possible that they are simply the result of echoes or other natural phenomena. The whispering walls of the catacombs attract a lot of tourists and many people come to the tunnels hoping to hear the voices of the dead. However, there is no guarantee that anyone will experience anything supernatural. The Decure Skeleton The Decure Skeleton is a human skeleton that was discovered in the catacombs of Paris in 1954. The skeleton was found in a niche along with a dagger and a noose and oh also missing the skull. The skeleton is believed to be that of a man named Decure, who was a member of a secret society that used the catacombs as a meeting place. Decure was born in 1776. He was a soldier in the French army and he fought in the Napoleonic Wars. After the war, Decure became involved in a secret society called the Carbonari. The Carbonari was a revolutionary organization that opposed the monarchy in France. In 1821, Decure was arrested by the government for his involvement in the Carbonari. He was sentenced to death and he was executed by guillotine. His body was taken to the catacombs and buried in an unmarked grave. The Decure skeleton was discovered in 1954 by a group of explorers. The explorers were intrigued by the skeleton and they took it to the police. The police were unable to identify the skeleton, but they believed that it was the remains of Decure. The Crypt of Passions Though disturbing graffiti can be found almost in all publicly accessible parts of the catacombs, the Crypt of Passions is known for a very specific kind of disturbing graffiti. It is a small area in the catacombs of Paris that is decorated with erotic graffiti. The graffiti is thought to have been created by prisoners who were held in the catacombs during the French Revolution. The Crypt of Passion was discovered in 1995 by a group of urban explorers. The explorers were intrigued by the graffiti and they took it to the police. The police were unable to identify the graffiti, but they believed that it was the work of prisoners. The Crypt of Passion is located in a remote area of the catacombs. It is accessed through a small hole in the wall. The hole is difficult to find, and it is easy to get lost in the tunnels leading to the Crypt of Passion. The prisoners of the French Revolution were often subjected to harsh conditions, and they may have used graffiti as a way to express their frustration and anger, among other excited forms of emotion. The graffiti in the Crypt of Passion is a fascinating and disturbing reminder of the dark side of the French Revolution. The Scratch Marks there are a number of areas in the catacombs where the walls are covered in scratch marks. These scratch marks are thought to have been made by people who are trying to escape from the catacombs. The Gate of Hell The Gate of Hell is a fictional entrance to the catacombs of Paris. It is said to be located in a remote area of the catacombs. Today, the Gate of Hell is guarded by a demon nation, and many people come to the catacombs hoping to see it. However, the Gate of Hell does not exist. It is a myth that has been created by urban explorers and tourists. The myth of the Gate of Hell began 
in the early 1990s when a group of urban explorers claimed to have found a secret entrance to the catacombs. The urban explorers claimed that they had seen the demon and they warned others not to go near the entrance. So pretty much a prank that people took too seriously. The Lost Tapes The Lost Tapes of the Catacombs of Paris refer to a series of video recordings that were made in the early 1990s by a group of urban explorers. The tapes document their exploration of the catacombs and they are said to contain footage of strange and disturbing phenomena. The tapes were originally posted on the internet in 2000, but they quickly disappeared. There have been many rumors about what happened to the tapes, but their ultimate fate remains a mystery. Some people believe that the tapes were stolen by a secret society, while others believe that they were lost in the catacombs. There is also a theory that the tapes were faked and that they never actually existed. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you would like to know more about catacombs across the world, tell us in the comments, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Crunch.